Um, do you mind if I tell you a story real quick? Yeah, go ahead. So the first time I ever saw you, because uh, and this is no shade on Gordo at all. I, I'm more closer to Gordo's era. He was one year older than me. So he was like the guy in high school basketball. So in middle school, everyone's like, you got to watch this guy Gordo play. Um, I'd never seen him. I live with Patrick Nieto at the time. Um, and we went to the summer basketball camp at Cruces High. And uh, he was like, dude, you'll see Gordo there. Like, he's so good. And he was. I'm not, again, he was killing it. But I remember seeing you there and no one had told me about you. And so I was watching and you were just dunking on dudes, like just yakking <laughs> on dudes. And you were so arrogant about it, like not in a good way, but you were just like, you were throwing the ball down. Like I'm guarding like on defense, offense, it didn't matter. And I just remember as this little like five foot 10 white dude, like just staring at you. I'm like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> and I remember looking at Patrick and I'm like, is that Gordo? Like, <laughs> this is the guy you're hyping up. They're like, no, nah, I don't even know who that guy is. <laughs> That's Gordo. And Gordo was killing it too. But I'm like, why is no one talking about this dude? And you were so good, man. And that's all, that was my first impression of you. I'm like, God, this guy is so good, man. Well, thank you, man. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what a funny story. It's crazy how life works out when we all is. grow up and stuff. But yeah, I remember just thinking like, God, this guy's so good. And then, of course, I played there and then watching you in games, man, you killed it. Uh, was basketball like a pretty big part of your life growing up? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was pretty much was my life yeah like from when you're a young kid mm -hmm. did your because i know your dad played basketball too right mm -hmm. uh hobbs yeah hobbs okay and uh how far did he go playing basketball um i think he played almost got drafted i believe i know he finished up at eastern i believe but he played against michael jordan when he was at tosa and nolan richardson was his coach really yeah he still has some records at hobbs was he um do you do you have like childhood memories of your dad like playing basketball or like having you play basketball? Uh, honestly, the the memory that I remember and I think about it a lot is just because when I was a uh, coming in as a freshman, he just told me he's like either you're gonna be good enough to play varsity or you're gonna I'll cut you. He was just straight up, and I was just like, "Wait, how old were you when he when he told you that?" I was about to be a freshman. So all right, that's fair though. You know what I'm saying? He just told me straight up. He's like, "Either you're gonna be good or you're gonna get cut." And yeah. I was just, from there on out, it's just basketball. I just yeah. was staying in the gym. Did you feel the need to like be good because he said that? I already felt the pressure. Were you already good though? Yeah. You were good? Did mm -hmm. you know you were good? Yeah. Because sometimes kids don't know. Because, well, uh, since I was little, that he had me playing up. Like when I was in second grade, I played with the fifth graders. Okay. So you were already playing with the older kids even mm -hmm. at a younger age. Okay. And like I had wars with Gordo before even people knew we knew each other. Like I had been playing, Gordo went to Conley and then I was... I went to University Hills. Well, Gordo went to Park. Lynn, right? Oh, elementary. In elementary. Gotcha. Yeah, we, we went to like a four of five overtime game in elementary. You too? I mean, banging on each other. He had like 50. I had like 50. Yeah, it was like Damn, little, little I didn't. Kids. I never knew that story. Yeah, like we played together. So when we got to Lynn, I would talk to him like, hey, you need to go cruises. I want to play with you. So then we just kind of. It kind of worked out yeah, that way. Yeah, but I've known them since like I was little. And you're a year older than him or two? Two. Two. So when you went your freshman year at Cruces High School. Did you play varsity? Um, I said I didn't. I got a little PT, but I played more JV. But then I got in. I started to get in at the end of the season. Do you remember the cats that were like the the dudes at Crucis back then? Like, who were the main guys when you were a freshman? Uh, no, that you remember. Um, there's his name's Blink. His name Eric. You rent is Eric. Uh, let me see who. Else. Adrian Sierra, Luis Sierra, Kyle. I don't know any of them. Let me see. Brennan, Brennan Jeffers. Jeffers. Did uh Tyson Dittmore. Did Hawkins play there? He was he was way Brandon, right? Yeah. He was uh like when I was in elementary. Oh, okay. He's so that, it's older. But I didn't he realize did. he was that old. Mm-hmm. He's still balls. Yeah. He was he was a that's the the first like when I was that was the people I looked up, like David Hovey and Dietrich and all them. That's when I that's kind of what I was getting at. Like, who are the guys that you looked up to? Do you remember seeing those guys and be like, damn, I want to get like them? Yeah. Yeah? I would listen to them every, every Friday. I'd turn my radio on and I'd be tuned in.